So today I wanted to talk to you about shiny object syndrome, one of the primary frustrations that I see with a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs. And I wanted to address this because I also... So today I wanted to talk to you about shiny object syndrome, one of the primary frustrations that I see with a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs. And I wanted to address this because I also fell victim to this for quite a long time and it led to a lot of procrastination and overwhelm. So shiny object syndrome is just like it sounds, you always feel like there's something else that you should be doing or could be doing to grow your business. There's always something else that's getting your attention that you're diving into. So this may look like um, taking a ton of trainings, taking a ton of master classes, taking a ton of you know webinars or even courses, and always seeking, always seeking. You're constantly in seeking mode, and as soon as one thing feels or at least seems like this solution, magical solution, it falls very flat and you're off to the next thing, trying to seek the next shiny object, the next solution. Um, and so you're just in this perpetual cycle of seeking and this causes a lot of overwhelm, burnout, frustration, and procrastination even because what you could be really focusing your energy on uh, that would move the needle in your business, which is the next soul aligned action to be taking. Instead, you're grasping for everything outside of yourself as a you know solution to what you're what you're looking for in your business. And so uh, this is really important to recognize if you're stuck in this cycle because it can drag out. And again, this is a form of procrastination. It's a form of keeping you stuck in um, looking outside yourself for the solution. So very much like the spiritual ascension journey. This is why I always say your spiritual business is such a great ascension tool. And if you're on the spiritual path and now you're stepping into spiritual entrepreneurship, your business is going to be your number one ascension tool. But just like the spiritual ascension process, and the self-healing process, if you're constantly looking outside of yourself for the solution, and I've done this with my health as well, right? So I have fallen victim to this in my business and in my, in my personal life with my health, for example. Constantly trying to seek solutions outside of myself, and what did that do? It kept me constantly seeking, spending lots of money, going to lots of different places, working with lots of different modalities, hiring lots of different teachers, and healers and just yes in the end it was all part of my process and my awakening and it was all it all serves me because everything always does no matter what path you take whether it's a bumpy ride or a smooth ride everything ultimately in truth is always serving you but um, knowing what I know now can shorten that curve quite a bit and th that's what I really want to help you with if you're in this position you can shorten the learning curve quite a bit um, and shorten this um, phase when you become aware of it and recognize that seeking the solution outside of yourself never results in transformation. And this is the exact same thing with your business. The next solution, so to speak, for your business is not going to be necessarily found in what you keep seeking, although it could, right? Like you could be guided to watch a, ma a, a masterclass or a webinar or take a course, and it could lead to your next step. And then something else will lead to your next step. That's different. That's called following your intuitive guidance and your nudges versus seeking outside of yourself for a solution to something that you feel is lacking in your business, right? Just like with the health experience that I'm sharing, seeking outside of myself for 
you know, the healing that I was looking for only kept me seeking outside of myself. It wasn't until I really allowed my intuition to guide me and I started to go within that I was led to my next step, which involved people, situations, circumstances, modalities, and all those things, but I was being led from within. Shiny object syndrome, you're not being led from within. You're being led from your ego-driven mind because you're seeking something that you feel is missing and you're trying to like conceptualize it and figure it out on the mental level versus going inward and trusting the intuitive guidance that's coming through, which will very much lead to possibly taking a course or a masterclass or reading a book or following a nudge, right? That's what it's gonna lead to, but it's gonna be coming from the inside out. And that's the difference. Shiny object syndrome, you're going, you're you're trying to manipulate the outside reality or figure it out in your outer reality in order to change or fix something and it doesn't work that way. And this metaphor can be applied to any area of your life, whether it be health, relationships, business. So in this scenario, obviously I'm relating this to your business. So if you're stuck in shiny object syndrome and you're constantly in seeking mode and it's causing obviously burnout, frustration, overwhelm, fatigue, procrastination, these are clear indicators that you're off path. You're off and not truly essentially off path, right? Because ultimate truth is your path is your path. You can't be off path, but you're not in your highest alignment because you are allowing the mental body and the egoic driven mind and fear-based beliefs to guide your decisions from a place of seeking something to fill a void in some area of your business that you're that you feel is lacking and when you flip the script on that and you start to follow your intuitive guidance which usually will invoke fear and get you out of your comfort zone and get you making decisions that are not familiar to you and cause expansion and soul growth which causes a lot of resistance sometimes depending on how much you're clinging to the old then um this is imperative that you recognize that this is this is part of the process but when you start to do that then you're obviously going to expand into your highest aligned path right coming from the soul coming from your intuitive guidance system coming from the wisdom that's trying to come to you and through you and acting on that, which again, may lead you to some of the very similar things to what you're feeling stuck in right now, but it'll be the perfect thing that you're led to. It won't, it won't be just one little shiny object to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. It won't be this repetitive cycle that doesn't move you forward. Each little step that you take will move you forward in your business. Right, so that's the difference. You'll still be guided to do some of the things that you may be doing now, but it'll be guided to the perfect thing that makes the most impact, that brings you into the highest alignment, that moves you into the, you know, the, your highest path in alignment with your mission. And it moves the needle in your business where the other cycle that we're ref I'm referring to will just keep you busy, which is why it leads to frustration, overwhelm, burnout, and procrastination, because it just keeps you busy. It keeps you busy just, um, you know, um, going from one thing to the next, but they never seem to really move you forward. They just keep you busy in cycles. So that's the difference. And that's what I wanted to pop in here with you today. And um, if this resonates with you, I'd love your feedback, questions, or comments below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And if it really resonates with you, yes, you get to hop on a masterclass. If it is intuitively guided, that information is below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. It's called the Soul Align Success Masterclass. And if you're feeling guided, take that masterclass. And if it resonates with you, you'll have an opportunity to jump on a one hour, 60 minute deep dive session uh, with me to help map out a six figure and beyond blueprint for your soul business. So I hope this video finds you well. And I look forward to chatting with you again very soon in an upcoming episode. And until then, namaste.